Hi kids, Miss Perez here, and I am going to read you an art story called When Pegaso Met Mutis by Nina Leiden. And actually, they got the word Pegaso from Pablo Picasso, who was a very famous artist, and Mutis from Henry Matisse, who also was a very famous artist, and they both lived around the same time. Now, this story will show us a little bit of what their life could have been like. So let's get started. When Pegaso Met Mutis by Nina Leiden. Ooh, he does not look happy. And neither does he. What in the world? I wonder what's going to happen. Huh. There once was a young pig named Pegaso. While other piglets rolled in the mud and played games, Pegaso painted. He painted anything and everything, and in a most unusual way. This is pretty unusual. Her eyes are up here, and this one is down here. They're both different colors. Look at this face. It's all distorted. Hmm. This is called abstracted art because the figure is abstracted. It doesn't look 100% realistic. Interesting, Picasso, eh, excuse me, Pegaso. At the same time, there was once a young bull named Mutis. Mutis was not like the other bulls. He wasn't interested in bullfighting. Mutis was very happy only when he painted pictures and he painted big, bold, bright pictures, like this one. Now in real life, boys and girls, this painting does not have a cow on it. It's actually a woman sitting on a red couch. Beautiful colors. In time, word of Pegaso, Pegaso, talented, talent, let me start that sentence again. Sometimes we have to go back and begin the sentence again. In time, word of Picasso's talent spread throughout the pig provinces. Soon, art-loving pigs from all over lined up to buy his creations. Boys and girls, this painting is called, in real life, Le Demoiselle d'Avignon, and that's French for, uh, Sorry, can't help you there. I'm not, I don't speak French. But the painting is, you can find it at the Modern Museum of Art, aka the MoMA, at, in New York City. So you could actually go to that museum when we're able to go and look at this beautiful artwork. You won't see the pig noses, though, I will tell you that much. At the same time, Mutis was getting famous in the cattle community. There weren't many households that didn't own a mooster piece. <laughs> Get it? Mooster piece? <laughs> You're very clever, Matisse. Very clever. Pegaso and Mutis were becoming art superstars, but this came with a price. Everybody wanted to see them. Art buyers, art sellers, art students, art historians, art groupies. It was an art attack. Ah! <laughs> One day, Pegaso got fed up and said, I'm tired of this noisy pig van. At the same time, Mutis declared, I'm sick of this crowded cow down needing a change. They both decided to look for a peaceful place where they could paint without distractions. Oh, there you go. Look at that. These are the two same illustrations that were in the beginning of the story. So it was giving us a hint as to why they got frustrated and were upset. Okay, I wonder where they're going to move to. Hmm. I wonder where is it? peaceful. Ooh. So each of the two artists looked far and wide for the perfect spot. Pegaso found a lovely farm looking towards the east. Motis found a handsome farm facing the west. 
After Pegaso moved in, he went to introduce himself to his new neighbor across the road. At the same time, Mutis went to introduce himself to his new neighborhood neighbor across the road. That is how Pegaso met Mutis. And coincidentally, that is how Mutis met Pegaso. They're so tiny over here. And you know what? That shows us that they're far away in the picture plane. The bigger the objects, the closer they look to us. Interesting, boys and girls. Aha! The art teacher discovered a landscape. At first, Pagazzo and Mutis were friendly and welcomed each other as neighbors. But soon, dun dun dun, things began to change. Dun dun dun. I wonder what's going to happen in the second half of the story. I guess you're going to have to stay tuned for our next portion of the story tomorrow because I am not going to read it today because Miss Perez wants you to wonder and I want you to predict what you think is going to happen next. There are so many possibilities and if you would like to send me an email, you can with your predictions. Have fun and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay tuned tomorrow for the second half of this wonderful story.